I don't know, should we call it Blue Yoast or maybe Yoast Gator? You tell me. Now, if you're not familiar with Yoast, it's an SEO plugin, and it just so happens to be the original SEO plugin, and it just so happens to be one of the most installed and widely used WordPress plugins ever created, and it's on over 10 million websites right now. And when you have that much success, someone's going to want to buy you, and someone did buy Yoast, the plugin in the entire business today, and they announced it today. Now, the name of the company that bought it is Newfold Digital. I keep saying Newfound, but it's it's new fold digital now if you're not familiar with them let me tell you who they are a lot of people that have been using WordPress for a while are going to be familiar with EIG Endurance International Group. Well, these are the guys that bought EIG in 2020. So you can see a list of their brands on their homepage, and it's quite an impressive lineup of brands. They own Bluehost, Crazy Domains, HostGator, Network Solutions, Register.com, Web.com, and many others. They bought EIG, which probably I think might have owned 30 to 40 different web hosting companies. And here's the announcement on Yoast's website they say that they're joining the company but it was really an acquisition and you can see that right here on the new folds announcement they acquired Yoast so what does this mean for you if you're using Yoast it probably means absolutely nothing uh, what ends up happening when a company gets purchased the buyer wants to make sure that there's smooth operations so what they end up doing is trying to get the key people in that company to stick around for two or three years and they tie some compensation related to them sticking around for that period of time sometimes they'll end up losing some of their employees they'll see this as a good opportunity to go get another job or maybe they'll get a new employee contract which will make it more have more incentive for them to stick around one thing's for sure i'm sure if you get a web hosting account with any of their web hosting brands they're probably going to auto install yoast further increasing the growth of that plugin now me personally i've never been a user of yoast i've never really liked Yoast that much. There have been problems over the course of Yoast being around. I once made a video on it. I think it was 2018 where there was a really big problem. It caused problems for tons of websites, caused a lot of websites to lose website traffic and lose money. And it took Yoast three months to take care of that. Uh, they were not happy that I made that video and I wouldn't have been happy that I made that video either, but it was important to get that information out to let people know if they were having an issue. Ever since then, I would never touch Yoast, but a lot of people swear by Yoast and use Yoast. So uh, you, you don't have anything to worry about when something like this happens. The company's not going anywhere and usually nothing ends up changing and we're fortunate that there's lots of SEO plugin alternatives available to us now I personally use rank math I think I made a video on this for the first time in 2019 and at that time it was only on about 60,000 websites and they're just about to hit a million active installations so they definitely have a lot of the momentum uh, rank math they have more features than Yoast they have a Yoast importer this isn't a video about about rank math I just wanted to include the plugin that I use for an SEO plugin on my website now also there's lots of alternative SEO plugins inside of the WordPress plugin directory you can go there and type SEO plugin I prefer rank math personally but we're lucky that there's lots of alternatives available to us and also what's nice is most of these plugins have importers. So if you wanted to switch to say rank math, it will notice that you have Yoast and it will migrate that Yoast data across. The same goes for the other plugins. They all import from each other, usually in order to make it easier to start using their plugin. But there's lots of uh, great alternatives. I personally prefer rank math. The features that it gives me, a lot of them were in the paid version of Yoast. Uh, so uh, it's up to you though which one that you want to use unfortunately you do need to have some kind of an SEO plugin on your website to add the metadata to each of your pages and posts uh, also the, to make sure that the correct image is selected when you want to share a link on Facebook or something like that and it pulls that image in uh, you're going to use an SEO plugin for that as well as creating a sitemap although WordPress does sitemaps now included so anyways my intention of this video is just to get the information out to people so they can make the best decisions for them and for their websites let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below I'd love to hear from you if you're not subscribed subscribe smash the like button I'll see you in the next video